Hey everyone, I'm Denise O'Malley, the founder of Udefine Wellness and the coordinator for this uh, Healthy Living Practitioners uh, Foundations for Success Facebook group. Today is TGIF networking, which means what we do is we bring in a provider from the Udefine Wellness Network to talk to us about their modality. They're an expert about what they do and uh, it's to educate, it's to collaborate, it's to find ways to be able to work together and do more for our clients. So today it is my distinct um, pleasure to introduce you to Mary Crawford, the owner of The Joy of Being Well. And our subject today is dousing. And Mary, thank you for doing this. And I'm going to turn it over to you. And you do have permission to share your screen because I know you have some slides. Awesome. Thank you. And I am going to share my screen. So um, first of all, I just want to ask, um, if I know that Rita is a dowser and she's here, has anybody else tried dowsing? Um, are they dowsing now? Anybody? Kristen has. Okay, awesome, thank you. Great, so I'm just gonna go a quick overview of this. I learned about dowsing about 30 years ago, 25 years ago, something like that from, um, a, a wonderful uh, physician here in the Madison area who is no longer with us, but she traveled all over the world to find alternatives for pediatric care because she was a pediatrician and too many kids were dying in the hospitals. And she came up with a lot of alternative techniques, really fun things that she worked with, but dowsing was one of her um, tools that she used and she taught me how to douse and I've been using it ever since um, and I love teaching other people how to douse. So dousing is using a tool. Um, it's been around, as you can see here, 400 BC is the first evidence that we have of somebody dousing. Um, Herodotus the Greek mentions it in the fifth century BC biblical references to dousing all over the place, Old and New Testament. Divining rods are used um, to find water. You see those, those pointy V-shaped sticks that, that people use in the desert to find water. That's a form of dousing. You can also douse on maps to locate fertile land or water. Native people often use dousing to find best locations to build um, to make sure that the water, the, the earth is is clear and um, free of any negative energies. Um, over 3,500 books have been written on dowsing. And I love this quote, dowsing is the exercise of a human faculty, which allows one to obtain information in a manner beyond the scope and power of the standard human physical senses. Um, so that was written um, back in 1970. Um, so why would you wanna to learn to douse? So you can get answers really fast from your higher consciousness or your intuition or your inner knowing, whatever you wanna call it. It's what you know, it's what your body knows. And we're just in many cases blocking that information. And we feel like we need to go to somebody else to get the information. So you can ask questions like, what should I eat? You can open the refrigerator and douse and say, body, would you like an apple? Body, would you like some lettuce? You know, just you can do that, you can use it at the grocery store. Am I getting sick? Um, do I have a virus? Do I have a bacterial infection? Um, you know, so many questions you can ask about your body's health. Um, would my body like this? Would my body like to go for a walk? Would my body, you know, body, would you, would you like some more water? Body, would you like to take a nap? Is that person telling me the truth? really quick way to, to test that. And how will this benefit me? There's so many different parameters and I'm gonna show you my chart at the end of this and, and show you a couple of ideas about this, but there's so many different ways that you can get information about how something will benefit you, how much it will benefit you. Will it be a positive or negative effect? All of those things. You can make decisions with more confidence. This is something that I see over and over again with people who learn to douse. Is that the best car for me to buy? Is now a good time to ask for a raise? Will I be happy in that house for the next five years? 
will that decision make me money? How about if you douse on every decision you make and whether it's about your business or not, you can douse on it and say, will that decision make me money? Will changing the way I eat make me money? Will sleeping longer make me money? <laughs> you know, there's so many different ways that you can get information from your higher knowing. You can find things like lost keys or glasses or your wallet or your phone, underground pipes and roots if you're gonna be doing digging, um, items, people, places on a map. What if somebody lost their puppy? And you can pull up a map of the area and do some dousing and, and get some information about where that puppy might be right now. So many possibilities. These are some of the tools that we use in dowsing. You've probably heard of pendulums. That's that crystal or stone on a, on a long chain. Um, we have dowsing rods and bobbers and all different kinds of charts. If you go to Google and, and search for dowsing charts, you will see so many different possibilities. And I'm gonna show you the one that I like to use. So dowsing, and muscle testing are very related. And probably most of you have heard of muscle testing where somebody holds their arm out and you ask a question and you push down on their arm and, and you get you know either a yes or a no or a strong or a weak. Um, that again is the, the innate intelligence of your body which always, always, always tells you the truth. Okay, another form of muscle testing is to use the fingers. I use this one a lot if I don't have my pendulum handy, um, or if I just wanna put my hand under the table and check, you know, body, would you, you know, like to eat menu item number three or menu item number five? You know, you can, there's so many different ways you can use the finger technique. And that, both those take a little getting used to, and all of this takes a little practice, but the more you use these tools, the easier you it gets to interpret this energy. Because what's happening, is everything is a vibration, everything is energy. Every cell in your body is vibrating constantly and picking up messages from your environment, picking up messages from your higher self, your, your emotions, your thoughts, and all of that energy is vibrating and that vibration can be translated down into a tool which will then respond through that vibration. So basically the tool, whether you're using finger testing or muscle testing or a pendulum or a dowsing rod, that tool is interpreting the vibrations of what's going on in your body. And again, your body is always gonna tell you the truth. So the more you use these tools, the easier it's gonna be for you to, to channel that energy and to interpret it, to understand what it's telling you. And please, if you have a question, chime in. But I am, I'm almost done with this and I will open this up for questions for sure. So when is a good time to use dowsing? Oh, if your leftovers are still safe, I can't tell you how often I use that one. You know, I like to make big pots of, of stew or something. And, you know, two days later, three days later, is this still good to eat? And I'll get a, a really fast answer. I don't have to guess. Um, is it a good time right now to create a new program? Uh, douse to know how much of something your body wants, vitamin C, water, you know, fresh air, walking, sleep. You can get numbers, you can get percentages. All of that can be done with the right charts. You can douse to know the best, best furniture placement in your home or office, because again, your energy is so specific to your environment and your body will tell you what feels good. Douse to know which medical professional will best match your energy. You can be sure I will be using this to help people select the best person for them to work with. Douse to know how much a supplement will benefit you. Again, percentages, numbers, positive, negative, all of that can be done with dousing. And douse to know just about anything else because your higher self already knows the answers. I do have an advanced dowsing class where we really go beyond the basics of how to douse, the kinds of questions to ask, when to douse. That's all the, the entry-level class. In the advanced class, we work with changing energy. 
getting rid of energies that don't serve you, changing the molecular structure of things, um, and really becoming what I like to call magical because it's, it's not magic, but it is magic because you are magical. You are a powerful creator. You are an amazing um, just being of possibilities. And then the dousing, the more you explore it, the more you dive into it, the more you can play with it and learn what the possibilities are. So it really becomes a tool that helps you express your highest desires. Um, so again, I do have two classes. The Learn to Douse class is um, a little bit shorter, really diving into the basics. You really leave that class knowing how to use the tools knowing um, what kinds of questions to ask, what kind of charts to use, um, you know, just all of the basics so that you can really get started. And in the advanced class, like I said, we really dive in much deeper. Um, so you can go to my website, thejoybeingwell.com forward slash dousing classes, or you can just send me an email at mary at the joy of being well. So that is my presentation. I wanted to show you some of the tools. This is a what's called a bobber. It's hard to see, but it, it's it's basically it can be a wooden um, piece here. I've used a cork, but it's the curled wire. And this is copper wire. It's 18 inches long. It's coiled. Can you see that coil there? Um, it's coiled, and that allows it to move easily. So I can say, show me a yes. I'm going to do it this way so you can see. I can say, show me a yes. And now I can say, show me a no. Do you see what it did? Completely switched directions. This is a really fun tool to use. Like I can be talking to someone on the phone and they'll be telling me something and immediately my barber will go in the other direction. I'll say, um, no, that's not what's going on. You need to, you need to look at that. <laughs> you know, something different is happening there. Um, these are called um, L rods. You can see they have a sleeve that moves. That's where you hold it to give it again that freedom to move. Now what these will do, um, they want to do it right now. <laughs> okay. So yes, see they're, they're showing you they will cross when they get to the, to the point. But these are really helpful to use if you're looking for something like in the yard, like a buried underground pipe or ley line. So I might be walking along straight and I'll just say, okay, show me when I get to that pipe that's buried. And okay, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking and they're getting closer and then, oh, there it is, it's buried. I haven't moved my hands, but they're demonstrating for you. <laughs> so um, the other thing that I like to use these for is, um, like I can just say, okay, show me north. Where, what direction is north? Okay, yep, yep, there we go. And show me west. There we go, okay. Um, are there any entities? Um, I'm gonna say, are there any unhelpful energies hanging around in this room right now? No, are there any, are there any helpful ones? Yes. Are there a number that I can count? No. Okay, so that just tells me there's more than I can count. There's a lot of helpful energies hanging around right now. But those are really fun to use. And then, of course, we have the pendulum. There can be so many different kinds of pendulums. You can use crystals. Um, there's, a, there's a master dowser that I love to work with who uses a bullet on a chain. And he lives up in the mountains in Virginia. <laughs> and that's just, he's a mountain man, and that's, just what he does. So what I want to do now is actually show you my dousing chart. Um, I'm going to turn this around really quick so you can see it right side up. Um, can you see that at all? All right. I always put crystals around my chart. They really bring in more power for me. So you can see there's a, a no side and a yes side. Um, your pendulum will swing positive or negative. I do have to turn this around so I can use it right side up for me. <clears throat> so I wondered if you wanted to ask some questions and just see what comes up for you. And I'll show you how this works. 
Anybody have a question they would like to ask? Well, we talked about the past bingo game, so I'm hesitant to ask that question of, um, how about how, what will be the benefit from one to 10 or zero to 100 in the first month that you use it? Um, benefit of- The benefit the for, for the whole organization. What will be the benefit for, I mean, you're doing it to benefit- Right, but that's not a yes, no question. It's okay, it doesn't have to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna jump right into percentages okay. right away. <laughs> okay. So you can see there's numbers along the yeah. side here. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So I will just say um, from one to 10 or from zero to 100, what will be the benefit of using this pathways game and right away I'm getting 80%. Okay. I'll take 80%. So there you go. Um, anybody else have a question they wanna, they wanna check? What would you like to know about your business, about your body, about your love life about this is Kristen I have a question okay Kristen I am curious if I should accept a promotion Ooh, that's a big yes so let me ask this Kristen and I, I don't need to know what the promotion is but will you be happy with this new position a year from now and I get a yes. Um, so anything else you want to know about that? Yes. Can I ask for more money than what they're offering? <laughs> uh, that's no. I actually get a no. Um, so it's not. That's what I needed to know. <laughs> okay. So, so let's, I want to explore that a little bit though. So can you ask? Um, do you want to ask is a yes. Will they be happy if you ask is a mm -hmm. no. Um, will you be happy with the money they are offering a year from now? Okay, no. Will you be happy with the money they, they are offering for the next quarter? And that's a yes. So would your body like to ask for a raise after the first quarter? And look at that as a big Wow. Yes. That's a big yes. Okay. Huge. So hang in there for the first quarter and then show them how fantastic you are and say, okay, I need more money. Does that make sense? It does. Much better clarifying questions. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Show them what you can do. Anybody else? <laughs> I love the look on your face, Denise. Uh, well, there's a million questions I want to ask, but there's some I just don't want to do on a recording. Thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> okay let's ask, let's ask something about the world in general. Okay. Yeah. Let's ask about, um, what do you want to know? I'm, I'm almost hesitant to ask anything I, we, it's all I, in all of our minds. I want to, I want to know when, um, when we're going to be past this COVID. Um, okay. So that's, we do have to ask more specifically. Okay. Okay. So, um, will we still be experiencing COVID, um, illness and death in December is a yes. Illness and death in January is also a yes. Will it be diminished in January? That is a big yes. Yeah. That's a big yes. So whatever the reason is for that, it's it's on its way out. Okay. Okay. Um, so how about will we start receiving stimulus checks soon? That's another big yes. Um <laughs> that just got passed yesterday. Oh, yeah. all right, Rita. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, it didn't get passed yet. It didn't get passed yet. It's not passed. Okay. No, I, on the news this morning, it wasn't passed yet. It's anticipated it'll be passed today because everybody wants to go home. I haven't watched the news today. Okay. Um, how about, will this be in the Northern Hemisphere of the world? Will this be um 
a heavy snow winter. Yeah. That's a yes. Will it be colder than average? And that's yeah. a no. Yeah. Okay. Snowy, okay. but not bad. Snowy, but not too cold. And those two kind of go together, I think. Yeah. Generally, when the weather's milder, we get more snow. Oh, Lots I've, of I've got a personal question I'm willing to ask. Okay. Will there be a marriage in my family in 2021? Well, I get a yes. Is that okay? Yeah, it's good. I just hope it's not my daughter. <laughs> Well, it's going on crazy on a yes on my daughter, isn't it? Oh, yes. Here, love. Yeah, Rita said the woolly bears were out. I will tell you that every single berry on my service berry tree was gone like weeks ago. And usually that lasts all winter. So the birds and the, and the squirrels and everybody are stocking up like crazy. They're expecting well, a lot of snow. So look at, look at that pendulum just going crazy with when you're talking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, it's this is fantastic. Telling me yeses and nos. So um, let's ask something. Okay, I'm going to ask a question. Would my body, um, would my body like to to drink a shot of whiskey right now? <laughs> Even before I ask the question, I'm already getting a no. Okay, so look at there's a big no. My body does not do well with mm -hmm. with hard liquor. <laughs> so, yeah that's saying no it's screaming at you yeah okay so would my body like some coffee which i have not had yet and that's mm -hmm. a big yes mm -hmm. <laughs> okay um so you can ask <laughs> you would will you kind of like the pendulum wait Oh, walk like, <laughs> yes, I would walk like that. If I was drinking hard liquor, I would look like a pendulum <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or I would just collapse flat over. Um, uh, so, you know, when you're playing with a pendulum, it's fun to ask questions like, um, body, would you like to eat some dirt? You know, and immediately you get, you know, you already kind of know the yeah. answer, but you want right. to see how that works with the pendulum. Um, body, would you like to have more children? Um, no, I mean, that's a no, you know. Um, so you can ask about your love life. You can ask about your finances. Um, you can ask about your health. You can, you know, there's so many different things. You can ask about your pets, mm -hmm. your children. Um, you know, you if you meet somebody that you're thinking about going into business with, you can you can ask, is that person um, of the highest integrity you can ask like one of the things that i did i always do before i start working with a company is i ask the integrity of the company at the highest level and and ask for a percentage or for a one to ten kind of answer you know what is the integrity of that company mm -hmm. um, because i believe that the the products are a, truly a reflection mm -hmm. of the very highest levels of that business of that company so if they're not at the highest level, even if the products seem to be good, there's going to be failure in the company. Mm -hmm. Things aren't going to work well. So um, it, let me move this back into the realm of wellness, because this is fun and this is entertaining and it's informative. It, absolutely. But when we're asking questions about our health, um, this is a good way to look at should I work with so and so as a practitioner as opposed mm -hmm. or should I go with this course of treatment, but everything needs to be based on education and, and taking you know working with those qualified advisors of which you could help guide them with correct. Right, right, yeah. but your highest self already knows those answers right, but this is oh. a way to pull out those answers right and to validate. So and, and what I, I don't always ask in that situation, a yes or a no question. Like I have mm -hmm. clients who will come to me and they'll say, um, should I use this brand of, of vitamin D or that brand of vitamin D? Mm -hmm. And I won't give them a yes or a no, but I'll give them a percentage of benefit. Right. So what is the percentage of benefit of using nature made vitamin D mm -hmm. versus some other brand of, you know, mm -hmm. what is the benefit? And, and I'll get a zero to 100 or a one to 10 mm -hmm. kind of 
kind of benefit for them or a, a negative. I might actually mm -hmm. get a negative. Don't use that one at all. Right. So I want to put a cautionary tale on here is that um, when you're getting into some questions like uh, that, are, I think are really about your health, that it should, you should also be working with, if you're just right. starting in this, <coughs> excuse me, work with an expert, yeah. <coughs> be guided by it, because yeah. that's the danger of, you know, the internet and searching for, oh my gosh, the doctor said I had blah, 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 blah condition. And you go and read mm -hmm. about it. And, and, um, you know, I remember, uh, being in the, the hospital, um, after an episode that I had and that when the doctor came in, he said, okay, I'm going to tell you what is going on with you and please do not go to the internet and immediately Google it. Um, <laughs> because I was going to get scared. Um, and without really understanding it. So my, the cautionary tale is get trained. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun to do, but it's, all, but it's, it's more, it's not a game, you know? Right. Yeah, it's fun to do, but it's not a game and get trained, get the training, um, or work with someone who is highly trained if you're going to use this tool. And if any practitioners are dealing with a client that they just, you know, they, they've tried everything and nothing's worked this is a resource mm -hmm. to say let's see what your highest self is saying because we're not getting it pulled out any other way right. am i correct in all of that right. you're okay. right you're right and there's always a disclaimer that comes with this and, yeah you know i do if you've seen in my emails there's a disclaimer at the bottom of my email i'm not a doctor yeah you know i'm just here to tell you the messages that are coming through energetically for you and and you need to go with your highest knowing mm -hmm. Um, consult people who do have that information for you. <laughs> yeah, the pendulum's going crazy right now. Yep. Saying, yep, yeah. she's she's telling the truth, guys. <laughs> there okay. you go. What, um, any other questions about dosing in general or <clears throat> things that you want to ask? Right now, I, I do want to tell you, I, I used to have my dousing classes only scheduled periodically as a class, but I have changed those to a one-on-one -on -one experience. So if you want to just have a private lesson, a private class, you can do that. If you want to invite a friend um, to join you, then you get a discount on your price for the class. So, or a discount for every friend you invite. That's you awesome. Get in your class free if you want. So, yep. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, that's how that works. This. So I have a question for you, Mary. Um, you know, I have, I was given a uh, amethyst crystal a long time ago that is on a chain. And I, I believe that it was meant to be a, initially a pendulum, but it was, you know, given to me as a necklace is, can you use things like that? You said you got this guy with the bullet and this is telling me, yes. Mm hmm like go in yeah. other words go pull it out denise get it yeah. out of your jewelry box. you can use your keys you can use a bracelet you can use okay. a chain you can use anything um that you put the intention into this is mm -hmm. going to give me the truth this is okay. going to give me answers when you take my class i will teach you um different um I, I don't really I don't really call them prayers, but it's kind of an intention setting um, thing that we go through before every session. I do it every single morning. I definitely do it before I work with a client that I am making sure that I'm completely grounded, connected to the earth, connected to my higher self and my source. I'm only getting the truth. None of my personal um, biases or beliefs are going to get in the way of getting the answers that are the best for this client. And um, so that's all part of the class. You know, you will learn how, how to do that and how to make sure that you are definitely getting the truth and that you are balanced. One thing that comes up often in the classes is um, I will ask people to douse and say their name and they get a no. And that immediately tells me that they're not balanced and that we have to get them grounded, get them connected. Um, something is, is switched in their energy that has to be balanced. and. Uh, I'm going to put this back up there. And so that's, that's um, a good way, a good place to start with dowsings. Make sure that you're connected and balanced and grounded and clear of <clears throat> all of the other 
energetic influences that might be interfering with your answers. So there's there's a little bit more that goes into that, you know, be, you know that you learn how to do in, in class and. Okay. Um, so uh, um, last question I have, I think is my last question. Um, for those who say this is um, against my faith um, or heretic, or this is that woo woo weird stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and we get it out there. Uh, how do you address those questions or fears? Well, first of all, if somebody is completely turned off by the idea of dousing, then they're not a person who should be dousing. Yeah. Um, you know, that's just fine. Yeah. Um, you have to come with the knowing that you are really connected yourself to the highest mm -hmm. energies, to mm -hmm. source, to God, whatever that is for you that you are an extension of that energy. I mean, if you can, you can find references in the Bible to, to Jesus saying, you know, you're going to be able to do all of these things that I'm doing and even more. Mm -hmm. He was telling, he was trying to show us the possibilities of who we could be. And if we would get rid of all of our fears and all of our doubts and all of our self-loathing and all of our not good enough energy and all of our giving away our power to somebody else, and take our power back and remember who we are, mm -hmm. then, then yeah, tap into who you are, tap into your own personal power and, and you find the truth because the truth is inside of you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, if, if, um, if your belief is that you have no power and somebody else has to tell you what's right and wrong, then dousing is not for you. Okay. I appreciate that answer. Um, thank you. Any other questions other people have? Okay. I'm going to, oh yeah, go ahead, Stephanie. So I'm curious as to somebody that would be interested in learning more, learning how to use this tool in their life, but they have been, how do I want to phrase this? I guess, separated from their intuition in some ways, whether it's through uh, working through mental illness um, in, in different areas. And they've, they've had that period of disconnection from their bodies and are working back to that. Do you find that it's more difficult for people to, to start to grasp this concept and really you know, be, be in that embodied place to, you know, body, do you want to do this? Well, two things are coming up with that. First of all, dousing can be a tool to help them get back to that place mm -hmm. if they're willing to give it a try. But definitely using other techniques like um, working with their chakras, working with their um, emotional energy to clear the beliefs that are keeping them separate. Mm -hmm you know, that's, that's the kind of work that I do that, that helps them really release all of that stuff or, you know, it can be in stages, but releasing that so that they can come back to their own power and their own belief and in, in who they are and, and what's possible. But if they're willing to play with dousing, they can prove it to themselves a little bit at a time. Oh, that does make sense. Maybe I do have this power. Maybe I can use this tool and and if they keep at it it can help them reconnect does that make sense it completely does okay thanks good question okay with that i'm going to um end the recording for this purposes you guys don't hang up yet um but for those who uh, are watching this as a recording uh we will have uh, Mary's contact information in the link on the YouTube channel. So by all means, click over to it and you'll have her contact information. And of course, Mary, I absolutely appreciate you doing this today.